Hey gang, Matt with Atlas Precision Consulting. Today's video, we're going to talk about Transaction Master Inquiry. P21 has a lot of inquiry screens, but this is one of my favorites. It gives you a good view of a lot of different open transactions uh, at your location or a range of locations. Uh, you can, of course, go into the main menu and do your smart search to find it in the list. Or if you're in P21, you can hit Alt F10. Now, sometimes, depending on where you're launching it from, it will pre-populate a location ID uh, or it will just do the wide open range. I believe there is actually a setting that you can kind of control that. Uh, but I, I want to do it from one location, so I'm just going to change it to location 10 here. Um, and before I refresh this, you'll notice that the date goes back to what uh, P21 thinks is the beginning of time, 1990 up until today's current date. You can obviously change that if you're only concerned about looking, you know, something that's older than two weeks or, or anything like that. Uh, so we're just gonna right click and we're gonna refresh this data. You're gonna land on the summary page, which just gives you a quick 50,000 foot view of how many open orders, production orders, secondary process, and so on, so on that I have. Um, it all, it also break down the amount of lines that are in there. It will tell you if there's any unapproved. Uh, for me, this is a good screen to use. If you have a, a process where only certain people can approve POs or sales orders, this will give you a quick list of, Oh, I've got one order that needs approval, or I've got, you know, 10 POs that need approval. Now you can hyperlink into some of these numbers and they'll just take you to the tabs. And again, I'm not going to go through every single tab. Um, this video would be way too long for that, but really what this is showing you, this is every single open order, uh, from that date range for my location 10 gives you a quick count. There's 68 of them. Of course, it's a grid in the web version, so you can filter it down to your heart's content. You can also look at only approved or, uh, or both or none. Uh, so like I changed this to no, that's that one unapproved we saw on there. Uh, you can also look at closed orders too. Uh, obviously by default, it doesn't do that because you could potentially load in a lot of stuff. Uh, shipments are your pick tickets. These are all your, uh, outstanding pick tickets that haven't been shipped. Uh, POs, POs receipts. Again, all this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. Um, I just wanted to kind of call it, uh, to your attention, um, that this is a really good landing spot, uh, to, to if, if you're somebody that's in charge of a lot of things. So a manager at a location. Um, this is a great way to just get a bird's eye view of everything going off in your location. Um, and just like everywhere else in P21, for some reason, if your location doesn't do service orders, you can obviously right click on it and close the tab. So you don't have to worry about it. And that will live in your closed tabs. Um, again, I could spend a lot of time in transaction master inquiry. I'm a big fan of it. I used it all the time in my previous life. Um, so if you guys have questions about this or anything else in P21, put a comment down below, make sure you like, and subscribe. And as always, uh, Atlas is here for your P21 needs.